Hello guys, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and uh, this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for um, February 25th to March 3rd, 2019. I'm going to use the traditional reader right here. By the way, that is not a traditional one, but it is uh, the radiant uh, version of it. And so now, while I'm doing the shuffling here, uh, I want to remind you once again that that is a general reading for Aries' uh, star sign and for that reason is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Aries because you guys are having your differences from one another. So <clears throat> if you want uh, a reading on a more uh, personal level in a sense that uh, you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through uh, using tarot cards then that is a subject of personal reading and for such you can go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings don't forget that till the end of uh, February all the prices have massive reduction to make myself more accessible to basically people who are struggling especially financially so that being said, going to the reading directly, that is going to be a four card tarot spread with additional card per position that is called enhanced tarot spread. So the first card for you, Aries, is that we do have that is going to be the nine of swords. That is to be the topic of your uh, week. The th second card, it is the three of cups, which is the negative approach that you can take or rather like the things that you should not do regarding the topic here then uh, the third card that is going to be the chariot card which points to the positive aspect or the things that you should do regarding the topic these couple of cards are guidance cards they are conditioning cards and should you follow those guidance uh, the spread ends up in a final outcome of growth so it always a an interpretation of growth at the end should you follow the guidance and that is going to be in your case three of uh, wands wonderful so lovely all right once again guys nine of swords then is the three of cups after that was the chariot card and the last one we have the three of uh, wands so double trees is what we do have in the spread, which is going to relate into other people. And I can uh, very strongly can see that, especially having the three of cups into the uh, negative position next to the chariot card. That is important because um, these two cards uh, kind of like interact with each other in a very finicky way here in this spread. But I'm going to leave now my cards here on the table or on my desk in front of me because it's really uncomfortable to wove them in the air all the time but we're gonna go through each single one of them uh, more in depth but just to give you the overall impression from the spread is that uh, you are going to have to tackle or rather like transfer from your previous week into this week a very intimidating endeavor it's kind of like a very intimidating enterprise and it's not intimidating because it's um kind of like is despondent to be done but it is because it's going to involve a lot of uh i can't really say it risks but it's going to involve a lot of responsibilities which needs to be very strictly executed now going into the first card which is the nine of swords for you uh that points to the um I would say a fear where one is quite afraid to take on the task ahead because one may have a personal hesitation and even doubts that one could kind of like tackle with it overall. It's no different than uh, being approached by your boss with that exciting new project. But in the same time, this project, once you involve yourself into it, you have a lot to lose should the project is not done at all. And uh, with the Nine of Swords, I think that this is going to be something like an ultimatum. You are actually you either have to do it or you forget about what you think. What I mean is that let's say that you hope for a promotion. Your boss know that you hope for a promotion, 
and at the end of the day they come to you and they place it that way you either tackle with this one or you forget about the promotion anytime soon and that will be a little bit of a rough patch here because with the nine of swords from that side uh, people really know where to push your buttons that goes into relationship wise or into career wise in relationship is going to play out a little bit differently your partner will know that they can how can i place it that, that they can really capitalize on the, your fear of them leaving okay and um, <clears throat> at that point it's uh, where they're going to display those endeavors or enterprises that this time around they are not that responsible when it comes to relationship or well, they could be but the thing is that they're going to be annoying in there all right so it's kind of like you substitute the the responsibility type from the anointment uh anointment uh, anointment yeah okay anointment type i'm sorry if i'm butchering some words anyway so what is important with the nine of swords that you guys uh overcome the initial fear yeah you, you have to know that um fear is what eat one's souls it what it what devours devours excuse me one's souls uh, while you are scared to make your research or to make your endeavor or to even try with the nine of swords the real core of the situation or what can help you there or what is the problem that will differentiate depending on what kind of situation you are in will remain um, undiscovered what I mean is that if you have any difficulties into your career and you have to tackle with them instead of being afraid to do something it is best to do something all right so with this card it is best to act even if the action is a bit wrong at that point rather than to do nothing because by trying or rather like exploring options available you're going to reach to the core of the situation the roots of the matter which means that you you either know what you need in order to push forward or you will, you are going to know what is holding you back and you we will be able to address that issue at the end either regarding career or either regarding relationship the card accompanying the nine of swords that is going to be the eight of uh, wands and with the eight of wands we do have an an active friends all right so when we do have an active friends in that specific combination and the thing is that um let's say that the options available initially are going to be quite a lot they are going to be so much at your disposal that in, in a sense of that you can uh, approach the matter from a different angle to a point where you are going to not know what to do so and that will be a big portion of the fear i mean if i do that what is going to happen and then again you know i have another option available and if i do it what is going to happen and so on and so forth so you're going to be quite focused on the future instead of being focused in the present and um, when one is focused in the future or thinking about well, I will put it that way. You should not concern yourself at that point with what could be, but you should concern yourself more with what is right now because trying to recapture something from yesterday is going to only make you lose tomorrow. And if trying to, recap to capture something tomorrow and thinking about it constantly is going to make you lose today. So you have to leave for today and capitalize on the best things that uh, you can come around you now another thing i want to say with these cards is that uh, those kind of numerous opportunities coming around with the eights of uh, with the eights of wands has to be approached with a high sense of um, of uh, analytic minds if i may express myself that way uh, and they need to be very well um, researched I would have said reconnoiter, but uh, it's uh, why I'm not using this word. I'm gonna go around after. Uh, I will come to it uh, <clears throat> in a in a moment here. So you gotta research uh, that option that it is displayed to you because with the eight of wands there is a, a big risk involved because the eight of wands cards gives you awesome way to push your things through but in the same time if you do the wrong thing it depraves you from everything you got that is high risk high reward card all right and in that sense with the uh, nine of swords 
it is understandable why you are going to be afraid it is just uh, best that uh, at that point you realize that there is a, a way out of your situation it just is going to take more calmness of your behalf to truly find what works for you if i might say it that way so going to the uh, next card, which is the negative approach that you can take to the situation, that is going to be the Three of Cups. And what is the first thing when one is afraid? What is the first thing when one is despondent? What is the first thing, what is the first thing that one is uh, placed under the pressure of ultimatum? Well, one runs to their friends and start asking for advices here and there and, and, you, and you know, asking for their opinion and so on, so on and for, so forth. One is trying to expand their vision and look for the options available through the friends and through the community he has. And that is the worst thing in this case that you can do because with the Three of Cups, Sitting on the negative position, it means that the people that are faithful to you, I'm not questioning their loyalty here, but I'm questioning the capability of them being able to place themselves into your shoes. Basically, they are not experiencing the pressure that you are going to experience. And in their head, or they will not be able to kind of scale the what is in stake here into that situation. To give you an example, if we go with the promotion and the, your boss gave you that kind of like nasty project to work on, you go and share that with your friends and they can tell to you, oh, well, big deal, so yeah, I'm going to get a promotion if you fuck up, so you can you can try elsewhere, you know, or um, <clears throat> they can uh, they can tell you that the world isn't ending. My point here is, is that it is unlikely that the friends or the people that are close to you will be able to help you in any way, especially with advice <clears throat> at that point. And it's, gonna, it's going to be best here if you keep that, um, that thing uh, which it is approaching you, this um, intimidating endeavor for yourself and not sharing it with anyone. Now, I'm touching a bit of a subject for the next card, which is the chariot, but also comes with the three of cups. So you, the little the, your friends know, the better, especially if we're talking about relationships as well. So let's say that you do have a suitor that approaches you, but the person who is your suitor coming around, it's kind of like a person of privacy, you know, for one or another reason, or basically there are something quite above your expectations going and sharing it around with your friend could quickly diminish the interest of that person being with you i mean like i said that most likely is going to be someone of privacy if it is someone uh new to you so yeah running to your friends and asking for advice and asking for how they would approach the situation it is the worst thing that you can do because first of all they ain't gonna help you and second of all that situation is unique for you and uh, you should not make your biased expectation or, or, or assumptions excuse me for what could be because with the eight of wands previously uh the situation is going to change in minutes in hours and uh, not in days all right and if in 10 a.m. you felt like nothing is going to work out, bang, something happened in, um, let's say, 11.30 a.m. and suddenly things are starting to move around. So that's why, guys, you should be more agile and adaptive and once again overcome the fear of, um, of intimidation and don't be petrified when it comes to taking a risks throughout the uh, week. The upcoming card or the uh, accompanied card here the catalyst that is going to be the king of pentacles one more reason why you should not ask for help from your friends is because the the, the king of pentacles here points that this help should be paid off afterwards so that is a, a favor for a favor and um, it is kind of like how can i place it it's it's not about charity the king of pentacles is a generous person but generous does not mean charitable, all right? So if someone helps you in any way, they will hold you accountable to it and they will ask you to do something for them in the future, which could be very well a, a bigger thing that they have done for you right now. My point is that you can be strong enough on your own and you can basically 
you can definitely push through on your own. Additionally, the King of Pentacles, it's about bringing uh, connections and friends into the matter. And as we said, that is into a negative position. You should not bring your connections and friends into the matter uh, anyway. And going to the next card here, which is the positive approach, what you can do, that is the chariot card. First of all, chariot is about independence. It's about singularity. So one can incorporate into that enterprise and into that endeavor, their personal vision, their personal expression, and therefore making their expansion one singular personal expansion. So what the card points is that you need to approach the thing with intention of making really hard work, putting strongly the toes behind it. That is because the chariot promises you the luck of the hard work, all right? And if you put the, these toils behind it, there is no question that you are going to make wish fulfillment, huge conquests, and as well victory triumph over and against <clears throat> excuse me and against all odds but yeah independency it's a huge role into it and uh, the appearance of that card in a positive position could also signify that if you involve your connections and other people into it you're simply not gonna get the credit giving you straight away an example here if we go with the um with a promotion, so your boss gives you that uh, project, they strongly rely on you, and that could be as well thing that they will give you as a, a test here to see how you work under pressure, you know? And instead of tackling it on it on your own, you kind of like use the help of a couple of your colleagues or the, the, the whole department there, and uh, that will pretty much seal the deal with the promotion because your boss is gonna see that you can't handle it on your own, so you're not fitting for the promotion. I mean, if you can't handle that project on your own, how you're gonna handle the whole department on your own, you know? So basically, yeah, this card calls you for independent incorporation of skills, efforts, emotional connection, attachment, or you name it, depending on what is your situation here. And that will allow you to make a, a huge, huge jump moving on forward. Now, what you need to know additionally with this card is that when we have it, probably what worked before is not gonna work this time around. And that is probably because we, why we had the Eight of Wands there. You will need some sort of a, a new brilliant strategies to be figured out, uh, some new means at your behalf in order to tackle with this thing. And uh, as the Chariot is a water card, it means that that week, you shouldn't be frantic about it. As a matter of fact, you can take a, a, a bit of time, like a couple of days to three days to figure out your strategy. That is going to be very, very important. Because when it comes to movement with the Chariot card, it is like making a huge straight, all right? Making a huge jump, not like m moving consistently. So you have to address all the issues of your thing, of your relationship, of your project, and so on and so forth. And from there, take all the precautionary measures, and in one hard push, you make that straightforward. The additional card to it, that is going to be the King of Swords, and we are forming here passive neutrals and the king of swords is all about an uh, analytic mind is all about uh, how can i place it a research as well and uh, basically and it says the analysis um discovers you the way out of difficulties here so the more you take time to figure out your strategy, to analyze the situation, and to, how can I place it, to create your strategy in a brilliant way, the, um, the easier the push of the chariot is going to be. So the more time you give, the more you take from the chariot and give to the king of swords, which is the analysis, the less is going to be the, the struggle because the chariot, once again, it is triumph, but against all odds, which kind of uh, suggests a lot of struggle. It, it suggests victory on the very last possible moment. When, when you thought that everything goes down to shade, it is when you make the breakthrough and that is huge amounts of stress. You don't need that as these passive neutrals here could severely, that combination could severely help you by you taking the time first to create your strategy, analyze everything because analysis is going to discover the, um, 
the way out of difficulties just like I said and also you need to know that uh, through creating a, a careful um, strategy whatever actions you incorporate into that strategy and into your into this plan are gonna be very very effective you know so think twice before you act it is what these cards are pointing and once again rely on your own personal strength either relationship wise or either career wise as well and finally what we go guys it is the card of growth should you follow the guidance here from tarot and that is the tree of wands so what we have at the end is that you're going to sit on a, a very very solid patterns solidifying your achievements which means that this jump already happened somewhere throughout the week and now you are kind of like clearing the, the minor and the irritating details that are concerning this jump and the milestone that you recently reached and from there I can't say really new opportunities but let's say opportunities for sprawling upon the endeavor comes around okay but these opportunities are going to be a further challenge that card <clears throat> speaks that from that milestone you can sprout through challenges once again your relationship or your career as well but with the tree of uh, wands it is guaranteed that the results are completely going to face or meet your expectations that you had at the start in a positive way that is all right and the accompanied card with it this is the six of swords so you do have an active friends here and we are talking about courage all right we're talking about courage it is because you are going to see that even independently even uh, on your own you were able to overcome this huge gap in between you sitting into one place traversing it and stirring this intimidating endeavor and the six of swords sitting in here pointing that going further with these new uh, adventures and these new challenges of your behalf uh, the fear that you're going to experience of losing things is going to diminish more and more to a point where your strategies to a point where as well your initiation and your mindset as well is such structured that you your actions are going to be systemized in a way that there will be no risk involved at all and you will have no problem whatsoever to traverse thresholds for example threshold where being single going into relationship swapping jobs and so on and so forth it's all going to be for the sake of the new experience so this week is going to make you much stronger being on your own than relying constantly on uh, foreign help so that being said Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading and i hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again that was a general one which uh, is going to resonate in a different way and it's going to touch different subjects for every single different Aries, because your situations guys are different from one another but if you want a touch on more personal uh, matter and you want me to analyze your personal situation through tarot cards, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services and as well their pricings. And don't forget that throughout the months of February, uh, all the prices are massively reduced. Some of them are even uh, on a half price for a reason to make myself more accessible of people in need and especially in a financial one. So right signing up now. See you, uh, see you around. Bye.